How's it going? This is Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Future Soldier, the multiplayer beta. That's a mouthful. And this is the beta on the PS3, and I'm going to be showing off my footage, which I recently recorded. So the beta came out today, the 19th of April, at about 3pm um, GMT. And I'm surprised so far. I was expecting a little bit more. I'm not sure what to make of it. I haven't played much of it. Maybe I should play a little bit more of it. But this video is basically my first impressions. What I think of the what I think of the game so far. Um, and I'm gonna be going in in depth with it. So be greeted with the start menu. Nice picture of the soldier. I have to say, start for the start. Right, the graphics aren't that good. I don't know if it, if it was because I was playing it on a console or not, I'm, I'm not sure. But I was a little bit disappointed in the graphics. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Um, maybe I would have benefited from it, from playing it on HDMI, but who knows. Um, so, you go into the multiplayer menu, obviously you don't have a lot of options to pick from anyway, so I'm just browsing the menu at the moment. This is all just plain footage. Um, I've cut out the boring bits and I've put in all the. I've cut it all up into a nice 15 minute slot for you so uh, you get to watch it all. So there's two maps and um, there's one game type which is conflict and basically it's just. Um, it's objective based which is obviously a good thing. It'd be boring if you're playing a team deathmatch. Um, so it's objective based, you've got to find the objective, you've got to. I think sometimes you've got to hack the objective, sometimes you have to just capture it. Kind of like capture the flag. Um, I didn't really get in depth with the with the objectives or anything like that, but I was just getting my getting to grips with the game, understanding the guns, the controls, things like that. That's what you do on any game when you first start it. you got to get into the control, so that's what you'll see me do. <clears throat> I must stress this. I spent a very long time with that message on the screen searching for game and when it did find one the connection lost. How many times that happened? Five. Five times before I found a good game. Oh god. So it was a good idea that I cut up this video for you otherwise you'll just be watching that and listening to my beautiful voice. Brilliant. So this is Pipeline not Modern Warfare 2 or Modern Warfare but um, this is Future Soldier so the map's called Pipeline the game type is Conflict and as you can see on the screen there on the left it's got the objective that I need to go and get it's just a little square and then when you look at it a bit more it tells you the objective and time and things like that so the guns are interesting to say the least you get a couple of different classes um, I think there's Assault, there's Engineer, there's Scout, and there's one more, but off the top of my head I can't remember. But I picked the Engineer, just like I do in Battlefield as well. And maybe you have to level up a little bit more to get some extra stuff, like... But I'm not too sure. Really, I don't see much... Maybe it's just the Battlefield side of me talking but I don't see much point in playing as an engineer when there's no vehicles but I suppose there are sometimes there are things to repair where you have explosives for example but I don't know but I picked the engineer anyway and um, the guns I found were quite jittery at points Um if you're not choosing a burst fire the gun will just like shoot you straight into the air and I did that a few times where I just couldn't get to grips with the gun and if if this was on the PC, if I was playing this on the PC I would find it a lot easier to fire the gun but because it's on a console and I'm not usually into shooters on consoles um, I found it a little bit harder but I prevailed, I tried and I got a few kills and a few deaths at the same time so I cut this up to get the best bits this I thought was quite funny actually you know a couple of shots there bang dead <laughs> didn't know there was 
any snipers in this game at all at that point. And then out of nowhere, the sniper just gets me, which was brilliant. The thing about the snipers is, if you stand still, or you lie still for a certain amount of time, <clears throat> if you stand still or lie still for a certain amount of time, um, like stealth camouflage will take effect, so it'll be harder for the enemy to see you. Um, if you've ever played Metal Gear before, you know what self camouflage is. It's not rocket science, really, but basically reflects light off you, so it makes you invisible, basically. So I think that's quite a cool thing. And this was the first time I picked up a sniper, and I get my first kill. Good times. Not saying it was a good shot or anything. Just, pfft. just taking pot shots at this point. I found the snipers a little bit odd as well. Um, comparing it to games like Card or something like that, you wouldn't see the outside of the scope. But in a sense, I like it the way that Future Soldier did it because you got more depth of, you know, it immerses you in the game a little bit more. So I think I think that was quite cool. This was a very funny bit. He was in stealth, and I just saw him, and I was like, "What the hell's that?" That was the first time I saw a stealth player. Um, that I noticed anyway, and then I just randomly shot him. I thought that was quite funny myself. So we lose bad times, but it doesn't matter. I was just trying out the game at the time, and I came second from bottom with seven kills, five deaths. I think that's assists. I'm not too sure. But, oh well. And so, you greeted with the scoreboard, and then you greeted with your prog your pro um, progression, so... Have you ranked up? Have you not? Things like that. So, this is the other map. Um, this is called Mill. Obviously, there's a big windmill in the background. And I started off as a, sni as a sniper, and it took me about six shots to kill that guy then. Probably a little bit less, maybe over-exaggerating. But then... I die anyway. Bad times. This guy comes out of the river. I spotted him earlier on, but I decided to uh, chase him down and pump all my rounds into him because I was annoyed because I, where the bridge is on my left now, um, you can't, from where I was sitting, like, you couldn't look over, over through the, over the balcony, which was a bit of a pain in the arse, so... So when he did come out, I decided to stick all my rounds in him. Funny. Then I decided to swap to the engineer class because I wasn't performing with the sniper. Ah. Oh. So let's talk about the HUD for a sec. Obviously, you got the target acquired, and you got the target and all that kind of stuff. On right next to the player on the right is your secondary ammo, I think. So grenades, sensors, sensors are you throw you throw a sensor and it will show them. It's like if you ever if you've ever seen a wall hack been done, it's like that. So if you have a couple of sensors and you stick them in the perfect place, you'll be able to see where the enemy is at that time. Which um, it, well, it can be quite annoying. Especially if people have thrown sensors down and they, they just know where you are. It's quite annoying. I get myself a few kills at this point. I do die. And I must say that I saw quite a lot of headshots as well. There were quite a lot of people getting random headshots all over the place. And someone, I think someone gets a headshot on me in a minute. And it's like their gun was perfectly on my head at the point. This was quite funny. I go under there, and then he just he just gets shot. I do like the game. I'm not being funny. It is it is pretty good, but for me to play this, especially on a console, it would take a little bit more to keep me gripped into it. Um, I'm games like this. I'm more of a PC player for it, but you know, for people who play on consoles a lot more, say Modern Warfare Three players like and Battlefield and I think they would find this more enjoyable but for me it was a little bit different so I um, decided to spawn at one point and I decided to take the objective which I do 
I knew the enemies were all around there behind me and they were all trying to get about, but at the time I thought the objective was a good idea. End up dying anyway. I like the kill cam afterwards as well. The kill cam's quite cool. So if you haven't seen my Ghost Recon Online video, also which was also in beta, you can watch it by clicking the doobly-doo on the left-hand side. Nice little thumbnail of the game there. It's Ghost Recon Online is a lot like this one, but um, I actually did bear on that one, so that's why I'm going to enjoy Ghost Recon Online a little bit more. So I've got myself some extra kills. I think I actually do quite well on this match. I come second, I think. Much to my surprise. It is it is quite an enjoyable game, but it would take a little bit to get into it, I think. Obviously, if you're into third-person shooters anyway, you you might enjoy it, especially as it's a Tom Clancy game, and Tom Clancy games, you know, there's so many of them, and it's such a big franchise now. You know, with Splinter Cell, you've got Advanced Warfighter, you've got um, End War, you've got um, Hawks as well. You've got There's a lot to play from the Tom Clancy's franchise. So when the objective spawns, it says there are game type rules, objectives are randomly located. So then you have to go to the objective and it tells you what to do above the objective. So there it says demo, so you need to blow the objective up. Where other times you need to capture the objective, or you need to hack the objective, which I've done before. So at this point, I'm trying to figure out what they are. So this is a perfect chance of to use a sensor, and as you can see there, the players, the enemy is highlighted red. So that's exactly where they are, and so it makes it easier for you to see them. Although the sensor doesn't last forever, obviously, that would be a little bit war hacky, wouldn't it? So. You go and find them, you go and get the objective, and this is quite an awkward position for someone to be in. You know, there's just a couple of pieces of cover, and the enemy's outside the door. Obviously, they've got a harder position to get in, and, you know, if you stick a grenade like that guy in, like that guy did then, then, you know, Bob's your uncle. So this guy plants this bomb. I don't realise at the time, but he's planted the bomb. And I'm just like, oh shit, he's planted, hasn't he? And I'm thinking, I'm going to die in a sec. And I almost do. I actually thought that was it. I actually thought I was dead. That's why I stood there for a second. And then I realised that I'm still alive, and then I die. Not surprised, really. Not surprised. What's that objective there? We have to defend this objective from them. So pretty good. This was actually a good shot. If you didn't see him then, there's a guy there in stealth. And I get a cracking headshot on him. Which was pretty damn good. I only saw him at the last second, so I decided to aim my gun and there he was. I love it when you get lucky shots like that. Especially when they come off. But a lot of the time, when I get a lucky shot, I always die afterwards. Like I, I did there as well. I die up here as well, there you go. Not too surprised, not too surprised. So, coming up on the end of the video now, so if you've liked this video, please like, subscribe, um, leave us a comment, leave us some feedback, be appreciated. If you want to see more of the Ghost Recon games in beta, then... beta beta? then you can go and watch the Ghost Recon Online video that I also have up as well. Two 15 minute portions to keep you gripped and you can click the little box on the left there. So thanks very much for watching and I will see you soon.